Yep. <laughs> let's see how let's see how much damage we can take. We're just gonna actually take the hits from him. Let's find out. Let's we're gonna stand here and see. Come on, buddy. I hope I don't die. Ooh, come on, easy. I wanna be full health if he hits me. Hey, easy. Nice, we only took less than half. Very cool. So we can literally face tank some you know, like mini bosses and stuff like this. Oh, he wants to hurt me? Yeah. And look how much healing we get right back up. Beautiful. Now we got the banner, we can unlock things, we'll take all that, and we'll go right back to town. Very cool. Hello and welcome to Path of Exile, Necropolis League. We are doing a series where we're going into super detail for new players, and we're, we're going to be playing uh, Cyclone, Cyclone of Tumult, which is a transfigured gem for Cyclone. It's even better, more fun, and we're playing as a raider. So it's going to be a complete build guide, step by step. And if you get stuck at any point along the way, you can just go to the uh, series where it says, hey, I'm stuck at 55 to 62. And you go in there and watch the video. And it'll show you what you should have on and what you can do to break through to the next level. And there'll be a path of building link in the description below to show you what we're at currently. And we're going to have a good time. So let's get into it. Cool. Just before the episode started, I um, I went onto the trade website, the Path of Exile trade website, and I searched for armor, and then I limited it to, I think, level 42, not item level, but um, required level to actually wear it, 42 or below, and I said, hey, I want five links on it, and I want two of the links to be red, two to, two to, two to be green, and um, one to be blue. And that's in anticipation of getting um, the next gem in this setup because we have an automation setup here and we set that up in the last, uh, if you want to watch how to do that, we did it in the last video. And it's automation with withering step, steel skin, and then life tap so that it uses um, a little bit of life instead of mana. So we're, we're not going to have a mana with this uh, mana issue with it. But I wanted to add phase run into this, which is a green gem, and we're going we're, we're going to get that in the um, the fourth act here. We're going to be getting that. So I have it all set up and ready to go. As soon as we have phase run, I'll add that in. And this was two chaos. Well, actually, it was fa five chaos, but it was listed for seven days ago. So I just whispered to the guy and I go, Hey, will you would you do uh, two chaos for it? And he goes, Yeah, one second. And he looked at it, he goes, it was five chaos. And I, I said, yeah, it, I just have two chaos. It's it's okay if you don't want to do it. It's cool. And he goes, no, nah, that's cool. Because, I mean, the thing was listed five days ago. No one's going to buy it for five chaos. And it's corrupted, meaning we can't change any of the colors. So if you find a corrupted piece that's been there, and they want 20 chaos for it, and it's been listed for <laughs> a week or two, it's not worth 20 chaos because somebody would have bought it. So you can offer less, just be cool about it. And if they don't want to take the offer, that's completely as well, okay as well. But I, just, I didn't have it. Now, technically I did because I've got, you know, I've got all this and I could have paid it, but it's not fair. If he would have said no, then I couldn't use it and I couldn't wear it. So I didn't want to do that. Also, last episode, we did the laboratory or the labyrinth and we got, we unlocked our first deal here and we put, pick this one and this one, but we also transfigured that gem and it sold for um, 44 or 45 chaos, and I didn't take that as well because this is our um, this is our actual value. We have no chaos now. This is all we have, but we have these because we've been IDing rares and even some blues, um, rare armor items, and and then selling vendoring them for the alteration shards. Well, we have 63 of these. Now I looked online, and if we do this. I looked online and I, and I saw somebody selling 62 of them for 20 chaos. I think if we put all these here, and this is a sell tab instead of buying, remember how we were getting five, it would take five or six chaos, uh, of these to get one chaos. I think we're going to get 20 chaos, almost three of these per chaos um, if we do it this way. So we're going to right click on this, we're going to say exact price in chaos and we're going to say you're going to get 63 of these let's see let me double check the price 39 chaos for 50 of these okay so it's it's a little backwards exact price and we're going to get 60 
I'm sorry, 20 of these chaos for 63. And I'm going to double check that it's the right way to do it. It's always a little weird. And then we're going to update the uh, database by hopping in here. And then we're going to go right back in there. And I'm going to confirm that it's been updated. So I'll, just, I'll redo my search and I'll look for my username, not this name, but my account name in the list. I'll be right back. Yep, I just confirmed it. And we're about sixth on the late list. When, you know, if people search for, hey, anybody selling more than 50 of these at a time, and I'm fifth on the list. Now, if I wanted to go down a little bit further and just to speed this up, if I put this down to 19, I'm going to drop down to like second on the list. So 19 for 63. And I don't mind it to show, you know, that I, that I can just do it. So one less. Now we're probably like third or second on the list of bulk selling of these items. And let's see if how long it takes. So... All right, let's uh, take a look at where we're at. And we're in Act 4, and we're right in town. Do we have to talk to somebody? I think we, we talked to all these people almost. Oh, we just run around and talk to all these people. And I don't think we have to. Let's see. What is it saying to do? Why is it highlighted on the map? I don't know. We'll, we'll talk to all these people. And we're having a good time this is relaxing there's nothing we're, we're overpowered we really are our damage is through the roof because we have a uh, purity of elements we're uh, immune to so many things um we have no socket pressure now really because we're going to be moving this up we're going to have three sockets open it's just going to be ridiculous um we're in good shape um our <laughs> our defenses are overcapped except for this one which is fine we're doing really, really well. Um, our life is at 900. That's about right. You want about 300 um, life per act. So we're about right on that. And we're off to go. Let's go uh, down in here. Do we have some? Oh, we have some portals. So somebody, men, men, here we go. <laughs> somebody messages us. Invite the person. We're going to go to our thing. And now, just like that, remember how I said, oh, and there's another person. It's sold. Uh, they didn't want to get invited, so we'll invite this person. And so they have, it looks like they were spamming people. And sell. And we could have got 20 chaos out of the deal. Um, we're going to trade, and then we're going to say sold, and then we're going to update our thing so people stop. Uh... There we go. And we're going to do a quick update by going in here and we'll say thank you. And then we'll tell the other guy that was sold. They pretty much know. Thank you. And we'll say sold. Cool. Now it's updated and we shouldn't get, and now we have 19 chaos. So if you're, here's the thing. A lot of people are in trouble with chaos and they're, they, they only have 20 chaos or something and they're in maps. I'm not even to maps yet, but just because I've been picking up uh, the rare items and then vendoring them, you know, I take a whole thing and I get like about three or four chaos or I'm sorry, three or f three, three to four um, alteration shards when I sell them, when I vendor them. Well, we just got almost three to one on our, um, on our alteration charts. In fact, I could have got three to, three to one if I just put the price up and just did 60. I could have sold them for them and they wouldn't have sold as quickly. But um, but if let's say I had 120 of them and sold them three for one, I could definitely sell them three for one. Also, we know that we can buy them three for one so that people are paying attention here. We know we can go out and buy um, and get five for one with these chaos. And then we know we can sell them for three for one. So you see that there's a, what is that? A 60% profit? No, no, no. 40% profit. Something like that. Uh, buy them for five. Sell them for that. Two, no, 66% profit. Something like that. You could get into, you could, you, if you wanted to, you could become the alteration shard flipper. And you could become the master of the alteration shard market. <laughs> and you could buy them from other people that are selling them for three or less and you could get the average price up to four or less 
and you could sit there about and sell them for four and buy anything you want anything out there for five or five or less and you could make a lot of not a lot but um you could have fun with becoming the the master of the alteration shard or alteration or market if you wanted to it's another way some people play just the market they don't even play the game they just have fun playing the market and they sit there and build up tons and tons of currency so there's all kinds of different things you could do all right let's go uh let's go into town and finish this out pretty cool stuff though it really really is it's so much fun this game is amazing all right so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna do the uh, quest down here and it's just to go get the um we bring this up it wants us to go in here and get uh, an item. So we're going to do that. I'll be right back. Let's see uh, Let's see how well we're doing. As soon as we unlock phase run, that's going to be an amazing thing. So we're going to turn that on. And um, we're going to probably be... We got a lot of um, chaos now. <laughs> it's going to be very tempting to buy an automated flask that we can use. Uh, we might find a cheap one that's automated and automate a couple of these maybe like um a quicksilver and a diamond flask so we have automated um crits and automated um running pretty cool stuff we'll see i don't know we get a little like, ahead of ourselves as soon as i get some chaos on me i'm like spend 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 oh nice and we're picking this stuff up most likely to be sold um that's not bad we could take a look at that uh, we want to get an automated onslaught helmet so we can get rid of this helmet. That's the first thing I'll probably buy or make. I might make it myself. I don't know. Probably make it myself. Um, anything good here? Movement speed, 10%. Movement speed, ooh, 20%. But not good enough. And we'll take this and then I'll be right back. We're just going to we'll upgrade that cyclone. We're leveling up another cyclone gem, I think. Were we? Are we? Yeah. And well, I'll double check real quick. Yes, we're leveling it up. And what was the item we just... Oh, soldier helmet. What is it? It's a... We'll ID it. One second. And it's not worth anything. So let's go find the boss here. So I'm, f I'm full up on these again, these rare items. We're just going to ID them real quick. We're going to vendor them. I'm going to vendor three of these for some more... Um, wisdom scrolls because we're getting a th every time we get an alteration um orb there's almost a, a third of a chaos there oh we're just gonna spend her that one right there we got a third of a chaos two thirds almost three uh, almost almost a chaos just for doing that um so much so that i even want to do like this we might be able to roll this and make it better let's see Increased weapon damage. We don't really care about this minion one. Let's just throw this on here. Um, is that better than the one we just have? We have on. It might be minions. Blah. Last recovery. No, but getting close. Forty-eight. <laughs> Very close. But see how we just used that. I didn't care about that that essence. But now we've got a little bit of that. So it's about a third of an essence worth of a third of a chaos worth of value right there. So we almost got a third of a, uh, a, a full chaos just for that stuff. And it's amazing how often you can do that. And you, will be you, 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 your, your loot starts to add up and then you don't have any pressure to sell, um, pressure to, um, you, you can just buy what you want. It's really valuable. There we go. We have 20 of those. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to jump back in because I filled up so quickly down here on the loot. And there's some more. And those are big and kind of take up a lot of space. But the boss should be right around here somewhere. Let's find out where. And I think he's right up here. Nope. Yep. <laughs> let's see how let's see how much damage we can take. We're just gonna actually take the hits from him. Let's find out. Let's we're gonna stand here and see. Come on, buddy. I hope I don't die. Ooh, come on, easy. I want to be full health if he hits me. Hey, easy. Nice. We only took less than half. Very cool. So we can literally face tank some you know, like mini bosses and stuff like this. Oh, he wants to hurt me? Yeah. And look how much healing we get right back up. Beautiful. Now we got the banner. We can unlock things. We'll take all that. And we'll go right back to town. Very cool. And we'll sell this off. 
we're going to use this up on our next um because you don't want to wait and save these so they don't work at higher levels so we're going to sell off this stuff almost enough that's a third of a chaos basically just just shy and so we just got two chaos um uh, out of that little run but if you ignore that stuff and don't vendor it and don't or not vendor it but don't, don't vendor it and then sell it in bulk we wouldn't be there and we wouldn't have 19 chaos to spend we're getting more and more and more so it's beautiful so we take this uh item right up here we talk to this guy we open it up and we're going to go in here and do this next um oh does it looks like somebody wants to talk to us over here i saw this guy tsunami Tasuni. And this is where you trade in your full stacks of divination cards. You put a full stack there and you get the whatever the reward is for them. And let's let's dive in here. I don't think we'll see what we can do with Delve because right now, if I go to Delve and I look at my chart, it's gonna use the chart that I have from before. So it's gonna have tons of everything in there. Um so I I don't know how we're going to, I'm going to, I'll figure out how to share this. So, so we're just going to do this and we're going to go from there we'll, we'll, because it shares your Dell from your other character. I've already got one at the next level. So we're just going to go through here and have some fun. And there should be some, um, sulfite nodes in here and I'll, I'll just note how much sulfite we get and we'll do the same thing that you would be doing. And I think I'm going to get phase run pretty quick here as well. And when I was saying a third of a chaos, once you get three, um, three alteration orbs, that's a chaos, not a third of a chaos. Sorry about that. I think I was saying a third. It's every three alteration orbs or, or orbs of alteration is a, um, is a chaos. And that's, we proved that by selling them. It was 63 for tw uh, 19, but we could definitely sell them 60 for night, uh, 60 for 20. If we had like. If we had like 120 of them on us, we could sell them. We could sell them at 60 for 40. Or, um, yeah, 60 for 40. Uh, 120 for 40. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. And let's go ahead and use this um, this thing up. We just don't want to let it wait go to waste. So that now we're going to drop some omens from these creatures, which are pretty cool. Or we have a chance to. Let's say, what does it say? It, oh, it doesn't tell you the... Interesting, it should tell you that too. And we'll open this up. We could, um, what do you call it? Um, you know, uh, transmute those things and turn them into magic chests, and it would be better. But, and then you could even re roll them. But think of this if you're re rolling, that's every time you alter alteration spam it, that's a third of a, a chaos. Not good. Oh, here's our first, um, sulfite node. And that's going to allow us to unlock the quests in um, Delve. Now, the thing is, I've already unlocked all the quests, I believe. So if we talk to this guy, he's going to pop up. And it, what does it say? Um, oh, no. So we actually... No, I think it, I'll, I'll, you're going to have different quests that say, hey, go into Delve and do that. What I'll do is I'll link a video down below that says how to get started in Delve. And it does, it, I think it walks you through every quest and explains everything in detail. So I'll, um, I'll do that. I'll link the thing down below. And if I forget, please let me know if you're looking for that. It's a, like a, I don't know, like a 10 minute video that just shows you everything about Delve. Delve is pretty amazing. Um, I was getting 500 plus million EXP per hour down there. Um, it, it allows you to get from 80 to, um, 90 really really fast and cheaply it's pretty cool it's really amazing when you find um sulfite nodes in your maps or your areas they usually come i mean yeah they always come in sets of uh three what was this a val gem interesting um so you want to make sure you get all three um and depending on what kind of a atlas setup we're going to have that would give us 36 so it looks like we got about a 110, 120 sulfite from all three of those in total. So we could actually go down there and spend that. It'll be fun. And we'll take her, we'll open this up, pop that on there, and we'll fight her. I think we already fought her. We just freed her. <laughs> nice. These are vivid and powered. When I put that uh, thing on there that said, hey, it's going to drop omens, that's what it does. See how these uh, little, like, like, firefly, you know, 
like fiery effect around him. A little, little like, cloud of embers around him. See how they're vivid and powered? It says at the top. These are really tougher cre creatures. This is from the Affliction League, which was last league. But wow, does it drop a lot of stuff. And we're dying. And we're healing. We're, we're standing in something bad. And as you know, let's just take as much as we can. And it's actually worth... Oh, and we're going to upgrade uh, to the next level of... Um, of vials of health potions so let's do that it's worth it to use a thing to go back and i'll sell these and i'll be right back i'm even going to use one of these that i really don't care about to turn this into a magic item or a rare item because then we can sell it for right here oh come on sell items there almost uh almost a third quarter of a chaos cool and if we sell all this stuff we get, wow, we sold all that and we got over a chaos, chaos and a half. I'm just saying the stuff adds up really fast. And what does Tosuni want? Oh, a skill point. Cool. Now we've got two to spend. We'll spend those in a second. And we're going to upgrade our flasks. Let's see if we can do both. Um, these are for the quality things. We're just going to leave that there. There's no rush on these. You're just collecting the quality um, flask, and you're going to collect quality um, gems as well. Uh, we don't need Herald of Ash, and we don't need that one, so we can put those in our gem flask, our gem thing. And we have one, two, three. We'll put these away. And we have six on us from there. Now we're back up to 13, which is uh, over four chaos worth. Nice, or about four chaos, and let's uh, upgrade these by vendoring up, a, vendoring them to the next one, and we can use it. It requires level thirty-six. Beautiful. This one does a thousand over three and a half seconds, and it's three uses. Um, and this one uh, does it over, so it's faster and more over, you know, three seconds, and it, but it only has two and a half charges, so two times, and then we go from there. So it just changes and you'll, you know, there's pluses and minus. I don't mind that one. Okay. And the other one removed curses as well. So on this, we basically come down to two choices. We've already came, um, you should be in roughly the same place as I am here. Um, you're just, you just got these, you got these. We could get this. This is probably our best bang for the two things that we'd spend. So let's do it. We're gonna we're gonna get the best bang for our buck out of the two points, and we'll even put this on here. This doesn't show the full scale of everything, but watch what it does here, because it doesn't show if the creature creature's bleeding. It doesn't show if we um, if they take more damage on certain conditions. There's a bunch of stuff that doesn't really apply here, but this number is still gonna go up, and we're focused on two-handed weapons. Here we go. That's a big chunk, almost uh, about. 18% more damage. And then we have two choices. We can go into a crits, um, a crit based thing, but our crit, our base crit is only 7% right now. We're going to get that up quite a bit to 20, 30, 40% base crit. So every crit will be, almost everything will be critting 40 ish percent. But this is a really important one. The, see that 150% um, increased critical strike against enemies that are on full life? You're going to be critting even more. On that first initial hit um, or more often now that doesn't help versus bosses but it's still a neat thing to help you clear maps so we have crits on this side um, we have just raw damage over here so either way we're gonna go here probably here just for fun next and then into this side cool but this is gonna that's just two points for a lot of raw damage right there nice I think we didn't what happened here? Hmm. I did, oh, I already talked to her. I don't think I can talk to her again. Dan? I don't know. I don't know why there's an exclamation point there. If anybody knows, just let me know. <laughs> Weird. But I know for a quest, you have to talk to her. So go ahead and find her, click on her. And there's usually more of an event there when it happens. Like a little bit of a fight, but there wasn't this time. And if we didn't have, right there during all those electrical things, if we didn't have purity of elements, we would have got shocked and taken considerably more damage and it would have scaled up really, really fast. 
Um, but now, shockings, those there's electric pylons that'll chase you down. None of that stuff bothers me at all. It's really nice. I'm trying to actually save some of these. We're going to need some some of these and some of these. If we get an item that we want to quality up, uh, like a weapon that we want to quality up, um, it's going to be important to have about 20 of these on hand. And the same thing with these. So I'm going to try to have 20 of each of these on hand and stop selling them for that. What we could do is sell 10 of these for Wisdom Scrolls because we have quite a bit of them. Cool. And speaking of which, I'm going to go back and sell. So now we're to this section, and we have to go. Uh, we have to go down the fireway and the cold way. Um, it's probably easier to do cold first and then fire if you get a little bit stronger. Either way, it's fine. And also, we are gonna do this. I just did a price check on this with Awakened Poe Trade, and by item level, they're they're being sold for like one elk. I wonder if we could sell it for. We're going to try to sell this item for exact price. We're going to change it to, um, what was it? Let's see if it's even listed on here. Orb of Alteration, we'll say three. Because that's worth almost basically one chaos to us. Well, let's see if we, we get a, a buyer for that. Nice. And then... I think we can upgrade this with our vendor. Let's yes. do that real quick. So we're going to vendor this one. Oh, that's a 1200. We don't even need to. So let's just do this. We found one. Cool. And a quality one. And then we're going to do this too. So I'll be right back. Um, we're starting to get a lot of the uh, the corpses. Let's do a crazy craft just for fun. Um, we'll, we'll put that in there. And now how many do we look at all these? If you don't get, you know, if you don't watch out, they're going to um, get kind of crazy. Now, what we could do, these scarcer mods, what are, what do we really want? We're thinking about it and maybe a belt. Um, I can't do a ring. Maybe this. Maybe we'll, we'll go for one of these. I mean, that's pretty decent, but it's not okay. So we'll do this. Um, now, here's the thing. These scarcer mods, I really don't want them uh, in there. I want... I, I wouldn't mind if there's some physical mods, physical attack or something like that. So I'm going to be careful not to use like the scarcer ones. Maybe the caster one, I, I could put that. So we'll put the caster one in there. We'll put, um, and they have to be connected, uh, touching adjacent. So let's go back up to the top and see the ones we want. We're going to put an explicit on there. We're going to put 5% um, quality. No, <laughs> um, that's just silly, right? No. We'll put it on. Why not? I don't guess. <laughs> I don't know what it, what that'll do to it. And then let's see this one. The cold modifiers? Chaos modifiers? Sure, why not? And fire modifiers? So it's going to have a lot of maybe some resistances, maybe some chaos resistance. But we might might as well use these up. You can't really use these. You don't want to mix them in with higher uh, higher level item levels because it'll mess up your item level of your item you're making. So at this level, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to get rid of these things. Um, defense. Sure, why not? Um, this one. Increased defense, I guess. I don't think that... I think that would actually be bad, but we'll see. Um, we don't want these scarcer ones. We'll probably just throw these out. Uh, attributes. Sure, why not? And we're still touching. What is this? The adjourse has a random effect? No. So we'll, we'll just discard these. And let's give it a shot. Craft. Jewelry. Amulet. Now what kind? Onyx? No. We're going to do a gold amulet for rarity. And we'll exercise it. Here we go. A lot of big talk by this guy. And... Really? Well, here we go. And what do we get? And we can craft on this thing. Let's compare it to the one we have. A little bit item better. Um, 14 to all attributes. Not bad. This one does fire, attack to fire. So we get a little bit of cold, increased armor. I would say not bad. And we can craft on it. Let's see. We could put life on that. We'll use it just for fun. And let's go into here. And... If we talk to him, we can go into the... We wanted to look at it this way. View the Necropolis. 
and cremate all these. Yes, I wish there wouldn't be a little confirmation. I don't want to deal with those. Um, I wonder if we just bury one. What happens if we just bury that one? And craft. Uh, let's say armor, body armor. Because you could, uh, we could have got a um, rare, you know, a rare item here all automatically identified. So that's one thing you could do. And then we could vendor that and sell it. You know what I mean? You know, or you might get lucky and get something cool. So we could have done that. We got four extra pieces, but oh well. Um, let's go back here, and I think we can put maybe life on this one. Let's see. Nope. But we could put uh, probably cold resistance. A little bit of cold resistance, maybe? I don't think we'd have very many um, things available to us right now, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll pretend we only have cold resistance, and we'll put that in place of this one. It's probably pretty much a wash, but it's interesting. We'll toss that on there and we'll have fun with it. I can always buy a new one. Easy stuff. All right. We're already up to 18 alteration or, and we, we know that we want to get up to at least 60, 63 to get, um, maybe even 64 or 65 to get 20, um, chaos. That would be cool. If this is your first playthrough, you're going to actually have, because of that Nico, you're going to have some quests here to go visit the, um, you're going to visit the encampment. We'll do that right now. It'll be fun. We just go in here and it'll say something like, um, purchase, uh, three of these things and you need the Azurite for it and you don't have any Azurite or purchase one of these and it'll say break a wall. That video that I do, that 10 minute video about the basics of Delve is really important to watch. And I'll try to remember to link it there. Otherwise just search Delve guide on this channel and you'll be able to find it. But I've I, I've increased all this before on, on my last guy. Look at that, I can carry 65 at thousand uh, sulfite. All this is really good. So what you're gonna come in here and you'll talk to him and you're gonna go into your Azurite mine. And it, this is the very beginning of it at the very, very top right up here. And your first ones, you want to you want to target these things because you need the azurite to spend to buy torches. We don't even have any torches. So let's go do it. And we'll, let's see if we can actually get a torch out of this. Uh, flares, not torches. And then it says start it. And then you're going to follow this thing. And we're going to follow it. And you're going to stay right back. And don't go into the darkness because that uh, you can't kill things in the dark and they can kill you. <laughs> So we're just going to follow this cart to the end. Oh, we got a level. Interesting. Watch out for those things. They explode and they hurt. And away we go. And it could be pretty long, but there's little side passages that you could go into. And there's like broken, uh, there's like secret walls that you could blow up with dynamite. Ooh, a resonator stash. We'll take it. Let's see how I can't kill anything. I don't even have any um, flares for some reason. I forgot to buy them. But this is the loot that you can get out of there. Come on, jump, jump. And the thing is, it's not fun. With Cyclone, it's fun because you can spin through them. But we got trapped back there, so I had to jump out. You'll find these things. Now we've got a little bit of two, four Azurite. Oh, boy. I'm used to a lot more down deeper. And it goes, you know, it gets crazier and crazier down deeper. You get a lot more loot, a lot more Azurite, a lot more amazing things. So here's the here's the way. And it burns up sulfite to get here. This cart burns the sulfite, which is right here. And nice. Oh, we got our rampage things going. That's from a item. And then we'll put a torch down or a totem down in the middle. I don't know why I keep saying torch. And you get through this. And you get through this fight. Now one of the quests is going to say, "Hey, go to go break down a wall." And you'll peek on these sides, and finally you'll find a wall that's broke breakable and you'll throw a dynamite on there you'll have to get some nice key binds i use shift a and shift s it's just convenient for me and you throw a dynamite through it break down and then behind it is some really good loot and then this breaks open and you scoop up the azurite so i think we only had like 19 plus four so we only have 29 to spend so you have to spend it carefully and probably get a couple more nodes and We'll pick up all this stuff. Why not? A, puck, a couple more nodes and we'll even take this and we'll go back to the 
right here. This is how you get back to the town thing. And if you have a lot of Azure, right, you can do shift and click and it'll buy it all, but we're not, you wouldn't have very much. So you'd only be able to buy, you know, it's five Azure right per. So you'd buy two of those and it probably wants you to upgrade your um, radius. So you just go through and work your way through it. Now you're going to run out of sulfite and then you'll get more later and then do it. But uh, for right now, that's what you would do and do your thing like that. I'm just going to fill up. And this is the basics of just the basics of um, Delve. Pretty cool. Nice. And you can vendor your things right to him. And we'll even ID these. Oh, and we got some of these. These used to be worth um, in bulk. Last league, they used to be worth three to four chaos each. Now they're worth uh, about 0.7, so less than one chaos uh, each. So, But you can still sell them in bulk and make some. These, I think, sell for a chaos or two each. Not bad. And um, nice. And we're going to even, we're going to do this to this one. We're going to use up these these small ones and away we go i'm getting tired of um doing this wisdom thing and i looked up the price it's a hundred wisdoms will get you one chaos so if i do this i'm wondering if this will work exact price if i do wisdom i want wisdom scrolls so i'm gonna if i say if you give me 99 wisdom scrolls so i'll be the best price for this one chaos Let's see if that works and somebody will sell me 99 wisdom scrolls. The best price on the market right now is 100 for one uh, chaos, 100 wisdom scrolls. So I wonder if that'll sell it and then we'll have that. And to me, one chaos, you'd think that's not worth it. Well, we already know that three alteration, would I trade three alteration orbs for one, for a hundred of these? Yeah. So I'll trade the one chaos for that. So let's see if it actually works. We'll see. And I might even lower it to 90 or something like that just to get it, you know, just to really be an enticing sale or purchase. Cool. And the next few points, I'm just going to spend them here, 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 and then I'm going to get that 150 uh, against things that are on full life. So I'll be critting against things that are on full life more often. Now, it doesn't help with bosses because, you know, you hit them and they're not at full life then, but that'll be fine. And now nothing special. We're just going to go into both of these, fight our way to the end. There's a little boss at each end, and we'll we'll take care of it. And then we'll meet you back here. Uh, and a side note, we, we've unlocked this in town. I think we unlocked it a little bit ago. But you go to this vendor, yes. go to the second tab, and we've got phase run. So let's uh, enable this setup. Bye. And, okay. So we want it on here. So we're going to set it up with phase run. Uh, withering step, the life tap does that, the automation happens through this way, and that goes there. So we can just put this here, and now we have all these open. We could do something like, um, we could do an immortal call with a stone golem. There's all kinds of things we do. For now, we'll just do this, and now all this is automated. Withering step, phase run, and steel skin and because of life tap it uses this instead so we're getting a lot out of this already guys and we're going to be moving pretty quickly as well let's see let's see if we go back in here and turn it on and we got to turn this one back over to here and this one can just be x'd out so one two three now when it does when it clicks on the phase run and it's gonna it gets a little boost another boost and another and we're or a space boost now we're starting to really move along here and looks like we need some regen as well because the fate <laughs> the life tap sits there and uses up our life so we need a little bit of regen as well we'll get that <laughs> interesting though that's like what's going on there yeah if we just sit here how much life is it taking let's see Oh, come on. We'll get... We'll find out right now. It shouldn't... This light tap should be uh, still level one. Oh. Wasn't paying attention there. How much is it taking a chunk out of? Yeah, so it's going down a little bit. We need a little more regen to keep up with the life tap. We can get that, though. 
Just a little more. Nice, it's taking chunks. Oh boy, <laughs> it'll be fun. And I, I have a solution for the uh, regen. It's actually, I don't, I don't think we have any right now, or very little to none. So um, we're going to be able to fix that pretty easily. And these are fun fights. I like them. We'll take this and keep going. There's two solutions. You could get um, a little bit of this right here, but then we'd have to back out of it and spend our regret points because that life tap is type tapping into this because we don't have a lot of regen right now. Or we're going to end up working our way over here anyways, um, and we're getting some life. So what we could do is just in two levels or, uh, you know, here's the next level. We could go right in here and get this one. And this should take care of it. That would be about 20 life per second at this level. So yeah, we'd be probably okay. Um, so we're going to go that way and, and we'll come back to this in a second. Nice. And we'll get that in a moment and then we can get this and this and this and all kinds of good stuff up here as well. Beautiful. And here's the boss fight. It's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know why, but I, I don't mind leveling. I have a good time with it. Um, Maybe making the videos during it, it helps, but um, a lot of people are like, oh, I can't stand leveling, but I don't mind. It's a little bit of a puzzle each time how you end up making your build, tweaking things, making things a little bit neater and fun, more fun. We'll see. But this is easy. I can just face tank these guys. And we haven't done anything special. Um, you've seen every step of the way, all the different um, things. Why isn't that guy dying? There we go. Cool. And we'll heal up. And do we have some room? Yes, we do. Cool. We'll just use one of those and go back. And away we go. I'm going to lower the price down to 90 and see if that will get a taker on that. Let's see. On that 1KS, we'll do it for... We'll do it for 89 even. To me, it's worth it. There we go. And we can't get the next flask until level 42. Well, next, very next level. Very nice. So we'll put that there and there and we'll get ready for that cool so now we've done that side we'll talk to her and get rid of that item that quest item that we just got from the boss and we'll go in here anything to change not really cool a little bit of a side note if you don't have um fire resist at 75 you're gonna you're gonna feel it in here the, there's a lot of fire damage in this uh this side um you know there's fire here here everywhere and it just gets worse and worse so, you know, this is a little bit of a fire resist uh, damage cap thing issue, but it, you'll be fine. Ooh, our first, I think that's our first Val Orb. Pretty cool. And I just confirmed, we are the uh, uh, best priced wisdom scrolls. You know, if people want to sell them for chaos, we are best the best in the list right now. Which should get us a bite, maybe, but a lot of people don't realize they can sell wisdom scrolls for chaos if they wanted to, and they, they're sitting on... They could be sitting on a thousand, um, a thousand scrolls. That's ten chaos, but they don't sell them, and you know, and they're they're hurting for chaos. And I, here I am going. I'll I'll give you some. I'd like some wisdom wisdom scrolls. We just found one of these magic jewels. Now you'd think magic jewels aren't that valuable, but they can actually be more valuable than rare jewels, depending on what rolls on them, because there's an endorn jewel that magnifies the value of every single magic jewel you have on your tree um so let's take a look at this thing hoping for life increased rarity found let's take a look at the five to six if we augment that do we have an augment we do let's augment that and see what we get attack speed with swords oddly enough that might actually be a good item maybe if people were looking for rarity let's find out i'm going to turn this off for a second that way we won't, <laughs> we need our, our regen a little bit higher there to keep up with it. We're going to get that shortly. So let's do a price check on this and 5% and 7%. That was a good roll on the, on the seven. And let's search two divine. Are you kidding me? We just might have scored. I'll sell that for a hundred chaos because that'll multiply out. Is that a really good roll? The second one's not, uh, it's the middle of the road. Um, I'll list it for like 80 chaos and hopefully somebody will scoop it up. 
Um, I think, let's see, how much are Chaos going for right now? Or Divines, 164. So that he's listed it for 328. Um, that's interesting. He's listed his for 328. His might be a little bit better. We'll do it for 80 Chaos. It's 99 Chaos. <laughs> um, and again, if I sell it, I won't count it towards our value. Um, I'm only doing it like that we're not going to get lucky but that's pretty cool that's just to give you an idea of what can happen there <laughs> and you can also use the alteration shards to roll this and get that and sell it for you know that there's you know you could make this a magic one roll it and hope for goodness but here's the thing you really want to um use a higher item level because then you'll have access to maybe better stuff but this rolled just as is so it's not terrible interesting pretty cool if that if that had life on it, if that was a, like a life and attack speed, I don't know if they can combo up that way. I think they might be able to. Then it could be worth a ton, like four or five divine. Pretty cool. Not a lot of tricks in this game. Oh, we sold that. Um, we sold that for that. Um, that uh, flask that we found for three. So that's worth a chaos to us. That's cool. And let's go to our thing, and we'll go in here. So even that. Even that sold. And where was it? Sell. He wants, uh, which one? This one. Oh, the Onslaught one that we found earlier. Trade. And... You want, I'll take three alterations. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll exit out. And I've, I can do Shift X and it'll auto-invite the last person so I don't have to invite them like that. And then I have another button that says thank you, another button that says leave the party, and another button that says go to hideout. So it's a lot of uh, nice macros that help trading. And that's all through PoE Awaken Trade as well. So this one, we want to sell this for... We'll sell it for 89 chaos. Maybe that'll get it to sell. He wanted a 320 for his. We'll do ours for 89. And let's get rid of all these and just go like this. Perfect. Nice. And how much are we up to now? 28 of those. Pretty cool. Um, what I could do is put a second one on here and right in here into the cell thing. That way, it, when they look, they could, you know we're buying up to 180 scrolls for two chaos now um wait for two chaos let's see for two. Oh no for per one there we go just to make sure it, it knows that it's 89 for one chaos not half that <laughs> there we go and i did that sale of that um flask for three alterations because we know that we can sell three alterations for a chaos but it's really hard to sell that um that flask for a chaos i mean that nobody's paying a chaos for that but we know that we could sell the alterations for chaos so that's the little little extra step to it but it's worth it to us it's because we're leveling up and we need all the chaos we can get pretty cool and we'll spend another point and in fact instead of going for all this uh damage right now i think we're going to go more even more defense so we're going to go in here we're going to get this one we're going to get this this is nice to have for the dexterity and uh movement speed and intelligence really nice thing to have and then up here is pretty cool some more attack speed some more damage and then we can, can get some more damage up here as well and some aoe right here pretty cool but this is going to help us get over the hump with this thing having that on and you know blasting away <laughs> but we'll get there Cool. And you can see the importance of having this uh, automated phase run whole thing on here. We're really kind of just, it's automated. As soon as we automate a flask, it's gonna be even faster. It's just really, really nice. I can just cruise along and we're sprinting, sprinting, sprinting through, th through everything. And it's just a lot of fun. It really makes the game a lot more fun when you can move fast and get around to where you want. So we're gonna keep improving our speed too, <laughs> a lot. Not as much as um, the uh, Raider does, because we get a 230% onslaught, but uh, it'll be still really nice. Nice enough. <laughs> and here's the next boss. We'll drop that down, take the map off there, heal up, and here we go. 
Let's see if we can take the hit. Oh, we we did, no problem. Let's see if we can take some more hits. Oh, jeez, that was too easy. I'm going to turn this thing off for a second. Just toggle it off just to be able to do this. And let's go back to town and sell. Oh, I shouldn't have used a portal, but oh well. How many do we have? Seven. Ugh. Not good. Let's do a price check on that. Um, we might be able to sell it for... Let's try Let's try something. Let's see if we can sell it for five. Um, oop. Let's sell this for exact price. Not that, because we see everybody not buying them for a chaos. We don't want to list it for that. Let's do five of those. So to that, that's almost two chaos for us. Let's see. Let's see if it happens. Oh, there we go. And invite. And now we have a ton. Come on. Come on. There we go. And he might be, not be able to come to my hideout. Um, let's see. The two chaos, 178 of them. Trade. We'll do two chaos for all of those. You hold alt and it shows the 178 there and we accept. Thank you. Done deal. Now we don't have to worry about, <laughs> we don't have to worry about these for a long time. Nice. Now we can just ID at will. It's two chaos, which is what was that? Um, six alteration orbs. Pretty cool. Let's update that so that nobody else gets that deal then. And there we go. So it was, we'll call it 90, uh, 180 wisdom scrolls for two chaos. Very happy with that. In fact, I could sell them back at, if I really wanted to, um, let's see one second. If I really wanted to, we could sell them for 61 um, wisdom scrolls for one chaos, which would net me the 30. So I could sell 62 or 122 of them for two chaos and then I would be up by 60. So you can see how you can um, you can flip. You know, I could sell a fraction of these, like 122 of these, and I would end up with an extra 20. Now that's not a very good profit, but it's something. Um, I won't do that, but, um, but you could. <laughs> and you could slowly make profits that way. And if you start doing a bunch of different flips, then all of a sudden you're making good profit, and it's just full up. You would be doing well. It would be, and people do that. They have a good time with it. It's interesting. It's uh, called arbitrage. <laughs> All right, let's turn the next quest in and keep advancing. And she'll blast into here. What? Oh, really? It's going to open already like that? And we'll enter. Nice. We don't have to wait for the animation. <laughs> yeah, we'd actually get what was it? One twenty. So we'd get sixty, ec almost sixty extra. Um, wisdom scrolls out of that deal if we just flipped it and we'd be sitting on 60 and we'd be we'd be even on chaos if i sold them that way so that's actually a chunk that's pretty serious not bad easy way to get some chaos or uh, wisdom scrolls by swapping and flopping <laughs> and another important step is we just got this cyclone of tumult uh, there were some as little as one chaos but they sold pretty co quickly uh two and three chaos weren't uh, they weren't responding. They were, you know, they listed them a long time ago. They probably didn't care for two chaos. Um, so I got up to five chaos and that was my limit. And somebody uh, hit at five chaos. So I'm just going to start leveling it up. And that way it'll be ready at 51 when we get there. So I'm going to level this up. Otherwise you'd get it and you go buy it and not good. <laughs> so we're, there it is. It's going. And I think we're leveling up a cyclone gem. Yep. Nice. For the next um, labor, uh, labyrinth. Nice. Turn these back on, that back on, and away we go. Really important, buy a um, Cyclone of Tumult gem sooner rather than later. Okay, the moment of truth here. Let's see. If, if we turn this on, here's our current regen issue. So if we turn this on and apply it, let's find out. That's 1.8. We get some strength. Stun threshold. Nice. Here we go. Let's see how close it keeps it is to keeping up pretty close and as we improve our life we'll get more regen back that way i think we've solved it just like that and just because i want to become a little uh uh chunkier uh we're going to take these two next 
We've solved it, just like that. Beautiful. Nice, and these, uh, we'll put these in this order. I like, I'd, I'd like some more jeweler's orbs, some chromatics, cool. And it, and it's actually working. We just got a jeweler's and a couple of chromatics. It's nice. And I'm starting to sell a bunch of these things, three or four chaos or alterations, a couple alterations. I'm even trying to sell this on a doom fletch for alterations because I know we can turn them into chaos really, really easily. Nice. Okay, here we go. This is uh, the piety fight. Nice. I wonder if we can tank. I don't. This is going to be scary. I don't like tanking this thing. We'll see what happens. We'll stand right here and we'll see if we can tank through one of her beams. Yes. Oh, let's see if we can do two beams. Yes. Not bad. Three beams. Oh, no. <laughs> I tried to tank the third beam. <laughs> Didn't work. Well, we got a death. All right, let's get back on there. Close. If we just had a little more health, we could have done it. Those two extra nodes. Well, it was fun. I had to try. <laughs> uh, where'd she go? Oh, here she is. There's a beam down, and it just must have... It was so close. Look at that. Jeez. Oh, we had a, a bleed on us as well. Maybe. Uh, that'll be interesting. It was close. I like being able to tank those, but didn't work. Oh, boy. All right. And then we come over here. There should be like a, a craft as well, if you ch keep an eye out for one. And let's see what's next. Oh, experience, experience. We'll put that one up there, I guess. Strongest monster versus all the monsters. Let's see. Eh, either way, it doesn't matter. No big deal. Oh, I should have uh, used that that omen we had. This thing gets and now we have to fight the three bosses to unlock this area. So, and you got to fight them and go in there right away. You can't like fight them and then come back because it kind of resets. So uh, let's do that. And there should be one or two on this side and one on the other side. Kind of varies sometimes. Here's the first one. And that, that was unfortunate with that. Uh, I wanted to try to face tanker and see if we could do it, but that uh, didn't work out well, did it? And there's the first one down. And we get that. And we'll go from there. And here's the second one. We'll upgrade that. And this is an easy fight. And away we go. Uh, oh, I took the hit. Get out of that. I'm a little worried about hits, but we're going to be improving. Oh, easy, easy, buddy. Wow. <laughs> those are chaos. Purple hits are usually chaos. So those are chunky hits. We don't have any um, resistances versus those, so it's a little tough. Nice. And we'll go over to the other side, and there should be one over here. And this one's a little tricky, too. There's a lot of chaos damage on this one. But if we're going to chunk her down really fast, we should be okay. Let's heal up, and done. We'll heal up again. Ooh, hollowed life. Ooh, that's our first hollowed life. That's a nice one. Over a sec. Yeah, that's really nice. Very cool. And we'll turn these in here. And open up this. And this is a tough fight. Um, not to be uh, messed with. Here we go. Let's give it a shot. This is the one where you can actually um, die more easily than Piety. Piety, we just should have moved out of the way of the beam, but oh well. Here we go. Let's do it. So she uh, knocks him, uh, makes him vulnerable. We get him down to about there. And then we have to make her vulnerable. And, and then we switch back to him. Oh, I didn't have a, a thing on there. Wow, we tanked that. And this. And then we'll go back to her. We're, we're able to... Yeah, we did better tanking-wise just versus um, that stuff, those hits and everything, than pi the piety fight. We could have lived through that piety fight. It was very close. But I just don't want to get to the point where we can just face tank everything. This is out of, out of what, charges. We shouldn't have swapped over before the fight, but oh well. And here we go. It should get recharged shortly. Oh, that was a little close one. And now we kill this guy. Oh, look at the chunks. We're just knocking them down. And we'll put a thing over here. 
and this way, chunk him down, and we're gonna go to the next one right now. And then we just knock this one down. Look how fast it goes down. That's beautiful. And we'll just chunk this guy, get back down to the next stage. We'll put this over here. It should be this one right now. There we go. Come on. Done. And we'll heal up real quick. And we'll just chunk this guy down for the last bit. Beautiful. Oh, almost. There we go. Perfect. Do we have any room? A little bit of room. The boots. Uh, the arena plate. That, maybe. And one more item. We'll do that also. And then we're on to the next area. We should be able to unlock everything. Let's see. Do we get a, tre a treasure? Let's do this. And we're cool just bundering it all. Not only that, I think we have a little bit of a good thing here. If we go in here like this and these augments, we don't need that many right now. We need some later, but right now we could probably sell um, to the vendor purchase. It's four augments for that. And we know that. So that's 12 of those would be worth um, right there. That's worth a chaos. So if we did 24, there's two chaos. And I don't think we can get a better price on the um, for 24 of them for two chaos. So I don't think we can get a better price. So now we got six of these. We can just chuck them in here. And we're almost to the point where we can do another deal. Uh, right around 62, 63, we'll get the, the deal where we get 20 more chaos. Which is going to be nice. Very cool. And if you missed that trade, we did it earlier. And I'll show you how to do it again the next time we do it. And you get 20 chaos. And 20 chaos is a ton. We can get some nice six links. We can get some, um, some of these uh, automated. So... Yeah, don't shy away from selling alterations in bulk. We'll talk to these guys. I think they give us something nice. Yep. Um, not multi-strike. I don't want to do that. We're going to be switching over to Cyclone pretty soon. Any of these good? Increased area effect. Trauma. Behead. Fist of War. None of these I think we'll be using. Um, yeah. I mean, we could just throw this one on there and try to level it up in the back in our offhand or something maybe and then we could do this we could probably take the summon golem doesn't really matter um we could throw it on there for fun let's just throw it on there and we could summon him up the thing is he dies a lot and i don't want to have to resummon him it's a pain so let's get on to the next area we just go through here and i'll see you just fight your way through here and i'll see you at the uh next area And away we go. Ooh, another orb of regret. We'll take it. Here's an interest, is, interesting one for the for uh, crafting as well. It rerolls uh, the greatest number of links. I don't know about sockets, but the links. So if you can get a socketed one and then linked one, it, it would be even better. Pretty cool. Ooh, we'll take this. Double, triple click it. And let's see. We'll, we're just going to get an essence out of there, which we'll use on something to turn it into a... Um, a rare and then just probably get alterations out of it we don't really need any gear wise but there we go nice in fact we'll look at it right now life leech nah we'll just turn this club <laughs> oddly enough it's weird we'll turn that club into that and we'll just vendor it and same thing with this this is a 1200 we'll use as a, a recipe to get our second um hollowed life We'll actually use this regret right now and that'll just add a, add a respec point and we'll probably sell these interesting these sell for they probably don't sell for a chaos but i think we could sell these for three um two or three alchemy or alterations each and then we know how to get chaos out of them nice all right you just come up here hit the lever and it should open up we've got our um this guy on five that's not a we could actually put them on four. That would be a little bit easier to hit, but in general, I, I'm not going to be using that guy. He's just there. You can just cast him, level him up, but we don't really need him. Um, the Oriath portal, we're just going to go in there, and it's 
Oh, it's the whole thing. We could have used um, that thing on it. Nice. So we're working. We'll work our way through here and into the next city. The next point we're going to use. The next two points are going to be here, and then here. So now our life is 9.99, and apply a thousand, and then we'll go up from here. Then we'll get these two, and then this one, and this one, and we'll probably go over here and here. Nice. And I'll link the delve video down below, and I'll link the uh, path of building down below in the description. I hope to remember that. Oof. And let's have some fun. Just uh, destroying creatures here. And it's going to be... Uh, the, the reason I don't like the, the Molten Strike is because of the uh, pause and swing type thing. That's why Cyclone is just so nice. You can just... just you don't have to stop and you're just cruising through everything. We're almost there. Six more levels, seven more levels. And we'll get Cyclone. And things will be uh, a lot of fun. In fact, I might even stress getting a um, automated uh, Quicksilver Flask and Onslaught Flask. Uh, the Onslaught we have right now, permanent, but uh, probably a Quicksilver Flask, just so that it's uh, extra speed boost all the time. Um, it's that important for us, so I might do that as well. Ooh, we'll take this. We might get lucky. Let's find out. Let's ID it, and... Ooh, is that a... It's tier 1. 15, that's a good roll. That's really good, and we can augment that and see what we get out of it. That might be really, really good. We'll pick up that. That might be worth something. <laughs> we'll see. 15. You always get the tier 1 rolls on that. That was always... That threw me off all the time when I would get it. I was like, what's this? And we'll keep going. Let's see what chains that bind sells for. Probably one chaos, so I can try, try to sell that for three alterations. We'll see. Oh, we got two, two, uh, two shrines back to back. Nice. Now we get double the buffs. We're gonna get so many uh, shrine buffs in the uh, in maps too. It's crazy. I've had eight or ten on me at the same time. It gets crazy. And here's the uh, little mini boss at the end. It's gonna be really easy. Nice. Do we have room? Yes, we do. Pick up that greater helm. We could even ID that and look at it. Um, might be pretty interesting. Nah. And then the ladder comes down. We'll level that up. We'll go sell the stuff, come right back and grab this stuff. And we're into the next uh, act. Act five, very cool. And we'll vendor this one and this one and this one. And then we have two divine or hollowed ones. We're going to put this stuff away. We're going to augment that right here and hope for something really, really good. Increased cold damage. So it'd be a cold melee crit striker. Let's see what the, uh, what we get with this there, there and search. Not too good. Um, we'll sell it. We'll try to sell that for three chaos. Uh, five chaos. It's going to be nothing to somebody that wants it. It's going to be a, a good deal that somebody really, truly wants it. Um, we'll deal with this one later. And this is a quality. We're going to need a bunch of these, so I've just been piling them up there. And we we're going to sell those other things, too. Or these we're going to sell for... We're going to try. We'll see. This one and this one and this one. This one should sell for exact price. We're going to sell for four. Oh, they don't sell for chaos very fast, but I think they'll sell for these. It might list them as the cheapest price. We'll find out in a second. And then um, these exact price. Uh, we'll do three orbs of alteration and check and three. Orbs of Alteration, three. I'm just seeing if those, these will actually sell for this. Because we know we can get a Chaos out of it, and we need a bunch of Chaos. Cool. And I'll be right back. Oh, we gotta do this. An exile can thank you. And what rank we do? We'll just grab any of these. Um, let's try that one. And I did. And are they, is this happen to be really good? Physical damage, lightning, two, and search. 
nobody has one of these. Um, let's get rid of the uh, this one and that one and search for it. One chaos. Uh, we'll throw it in here for one chaos and see what happens. Exact price, one chaos. Cool. And we'll talk to him or her, Valenta. Nice. All right, so I'm going to grab this next level. And this is a good time to... So 45 will end it off at. And the point I'm going to spend is going to be right there. We'll put a path of building in the uh, description and a delve uh, link to that delve video to explain delve more in detail. But this is what we're looking at. Gear-wise, we're in good shape. We've got Cyclone of Tumult leveling up, uh, getting ready to be used. The, this is the, the item that really gets us over the top. And we'll probably be upgrading this weapon as well. Could we do that right now? Let's see. Um, this is an item level requires not 44. This is a really, I think tw we got this at like level 22. We should be upgrading this. I'm going to do that right now. I'll be right back and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, to do a, I don't want to spend much more than a chaos, so I limited it to, to one chaos on the search, and we get to go to trade of uh, path of exile trade, two-handed weapons. Okay, we we wanted that. We wanted at least a 222 physical DPS. Um, we wanted it to not be higher than level 45 requirement, and down here I said that two a max of two chaos. Well, right away this one came up, and I searched. If you click here, it'll sort by higher, you know, by physical DPS. This one came up. It was only uh, one chaos. I think the third or fourth person down said, yep. And and a little bit of a concern is, um, see that? Um, I'm going to I'm gonna get level 45 and then I'll be able to use it. But a bit of a concern is that 50% increased mana cost of all skills. We'll see how that works out for us. So I'm going to go grab a level and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna spend our next point, got the level, uh, we'll apply it. Now we're up to 1176, uh, and now that means our regen is doing a little bit better as well, so now we're definitely in, in good shape there. I didn't really care about this stone golem, so let's just get rid of him. Are we leveling anything up? We could level him up in the back, just in case we wanna level up that gem. Do we have a blue? Oh no, we don't have a blue socket there. And then um, we're gonna move these two down onto here, so we really don't even care about our sockets uh, in, on this item, which is nice. That way you can switch out pretty quickly. Um, so let's fire this back up. We'll put this back on and we'll take a look at this sheet. Now this does, this says 2985 and we'll turn this off so it doesn't fluctuate. So 2985. This is not going to see it says 50% chance to what uh, decline. I don't know what that was invited for. Oh, we get 100 max life. That's nice. Regenerate 20 life per second. 1% of physical life le leached as life. So this is going to be a real nice thing. We're just concerned with that line that says mana cost of skills 50% more. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be this one, so it would cost 15, but I think we'll be okay. So let's, uh, let's find out what happens here. Should go way up. 29, so 3,000. Way less. Oh, we're missing something here. Um, what is it? 48 to all attributes. So, what item? If we put this on, let's see which uh, item is not happy with the the 96 dex. We're gonna have to. That dex is too low, but we can. We're gonna fix that right now by going using one of our refund points right here. Cancel, uh, refund point, right there. Refund it, and we're gonna spend it right here. Apply it. Now that's fixed. Everything's cool. We can use this. And what did our damage go back up to? Ooh, we were at three thousand. We're almost at six thousand. So that gives you the idea. We're just gonna vendor this for the alchemies. I don't think it's worth anything. And same thing here. And. We are in, we almost doubled our DPS. So let's take a look at what it looks like now. If we turn that on, and what about the risk of the other thing, the uh, mana cost issue? I don't think it'll be an issue, but let's see. No, it's not going to be an issue at all. Beautiful. 
Cool, and we got, we're going to use all these all flames up. Let's do a little more damage just for fun now. But we're going to be switching to Terminus S, which is even a better sword at 51 anyway. So, but this is just going to get get us through the next episode. And it's, it was a uh, one chaos, so not bad. Um, not bad at all. And it's a lot of fun. Oh wow. We're just smashing stuff down. I noticed that we were getting a little, you know, we were taking a couple extra swings, so I didn't want to do that on the tougher creatures, but now we're just destroying everything. Great, I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next episode. Very cool. We're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. This is great. Nice. Big old smashing axe, destroying everything. Very cool.